Hello good people. I hope all of you doing well today. In this video, I will show you how to create modal form using JavaScript and uh, jQuery. So guys, let's start. First of all, you have to know that you have to add this link for supporting jQuery and Bootstrap. So, and then we have to add a button. So, here is the button. You have to type a uh, button and you have to name the class name button button info and then you have to add data toggle and the target. So, now we have to add a division and then create the uh, model body so here we go uh, this is our uh, first division for model form and class will be model fade row will be dialog and id will be model form so we have to copy this id and paste here data target so that's it now we have to add another division and here we go and the division class name will be model dialog and then we have to add another division inside this and the name, name of the division will be model content and we have to add another add another division and here we go uh, this is our another division and the name will be uh, model header guys for your concern I will skip the season HTML per uh, to make the video in short. So the last thing we have to add model body and the class name will be model body. So now we have to add some content in model body and model header. So let's start. So guys, here we go. Uh, we add a uh, age full header, header and also add a button for the Moodle header and the header name header class name will be model writer so we add a button for the close our uh, application and uh, we add a h4 for our uh, title of the application i mean our form so let's move on the model body uh, guys uh, now we create a form inside the model body model body and inside the form we add a division the class name will be form group and then we add a level and the input so that we can find a level also in both box so that we can write something uh, really related so we have to do more things uh, like form group plus when we complete our um, uh, level and the input we name the type of the input strikes and name will be name and the class will be form control so we have to copy this one and paste for email contract or more input box so let's start with this guys here we go uh, we add a mail a contract and about text area and also add a button save button and that save button type will be submit so that we can submit the form into another place so now save it and open your browser and refresh your browser and see So here we go. If we close the open model button form, then you see here is our application. So if you add something, and but nothing good can happen. So we want to see something. If you save the save, click the button and then 
show another option so now we have to work for it we have to um, we have to uh, find a query in the form so let's do it and write form and it is submit submit method in this and also add a function remove the argument and the function name and now we have to add a variable and then we have to add the view of the at the value of this name input text so uh, we have to initial these and then add a find method dot value and in the find method we have to add the input and add a name and name equal to will be uh, will be name because we name it name and now we have to copy and paste this to to for email contact about me so guys this is for uh, this is for email and we had a email variable to uh, take the value of email and then we had a contact variable to uh, add the value of contact uh, guys here is another uh, variable and another input value we had a text video for because uh, um, the in the art uh, we have a text video and the content will be about me so we had a very variable about me and in the text video and the name will be about me that's it now we have to we have to create another variable name details details guys here is our details variable with the value we add uh, add a name in this value with a uh, content your name we also add email we also add a contract we also add a about me so in the details uh, variable we have add all the variables in, inside the inside details so now we can add a word and set output details so let's save it and refresh your browser click the open model form and add some value contact natural and about developer developer and save it you see in the alert piece you see my name my email and my contract and also about me so now we can say we are successfully done with the model form uh, so so in the in the form we can we can close it we can open it and save something uh, so and thank you guys for watching and I hope this video will help you to create a model form and to work with the model form okay uh, thank you